So this sad, kind of beat up looking flower is Lobelia cardinalis, also known as the cardinal flower. Canada to the southern United States. It blooms from May to October depending on the area that it's grown. And it's usually found in heights between two and six feet and up to two feet wide. It's propagated by division, but it also reseeds well. Its flowers are five petaled and scarlet red in bracted racemes. They have a one and a half inch corolla tube that makes them ideal for hummingbirds, but difficult for other pollinators to get to the nectar, which is why they generally rely on hummingbirds to make that happen. The leaves are alternate and nearly sessile to the round stems. The four inch long oblong to lanceolate leaves have acute to acuminate tips and are irregularly serrated. The leaves can exhibit fall color as seen in the picture to the left. Moist to wet soil is the best. Partial shade is better than full sun and they can grow reliably in USDA zones 3 through 9. Wet areas such as pond and stream banks are also great for lobelia to grow with little to no maintenance. Lobelia is also considered to be toxic, although not the exact toxicity is unknown. It's claimed that it was used by Native Americans as a remedy for various intestinal ailments, bronchial issues, and even syphilis. It's also rumored to have aphrodisiac properties, but I'm not going to try it out. Let me know how it goes if you do.